I was feeling sad and kind of blue. I didn't know what I was going to do. The communists was coming around. They was in the air. They was on the ground. They wouldn't give me no peace. Well, I run down most hurriedly and joined the John Birch Society. Got me a secret membership card, started walking off down the road. You! <laughs> I'm a real John Bircher now, look it out. Now we all agree with Hitler's views, although he killed six million Jews. It don't matter too much that he was a fascist, at least you can't say he was a communist. <laughs> That's a say like if you got a cold, take a shot of malaria. <laughs> I was looking everywhere for them gold darn reds. I got up in the morning, looked under my bed. Looked in the sink behind the chair, looked in the glove compartment of my car, looking everywhere, I couldn't find them. I was looking in the sink and behind the chair. I was looking for them reds everywhere. I looked way up the chimney hole, looked deep down inside my toilet bowl. They got away. <laughs> I was sitting home alone, I started to sweat. I figured they was in my TV set. I peeked behind the picture frame, got a shot from my feet, hit me in the brain. Them reds did it. I know they did, them hardcore ones. I quit my job so I could work all alone and I changed my name to Sherlock Holmes. Following some clues from my detective bag, I discovered there was red stripes in the American flag. Oh, Betsy Ross. Now, Eisenhower, he's a Russian spy, Lincoln, Jefferson, and that Roosevelt guy, to my knowledge, there's just one man that's really a true American, George Lincoln Rockwell. I know for a fact he hates commies because he picketed the movie Exodus. Well, I finally started thinking straight when I ran out of things to investigate. Couldn't imagine doing anything else, and I'm home investigating myself. Hope I don't find out anything. Good God.